cooking over here again today. Putting on my chef's coat. I learned it's not a chef jacket. People say coat. Oh, it's not a chef jacket, it's a chef coat. I don't know, I guess chefs are real snooty that way about what they wear. I call it a jacket. Some people are like, no, 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 man. I don't know. I got this jacket for free because I'm like super special. It's got a lot of room to grow in it. I mean, look at this thing. I could grow, like I can add another couple dugs in here and then be like, yeah, still lots of room in there. But that's okay. Anyways, we got a special treat for you today, of course. So I was over at a friend's house and they were making a uh, mug of cake. And they made it with like flour and baking soda and eggs and oils and ingredients, you know. And then I was over at the Jewels today and I saw this. Giardelli uh, uh, mug of cake on, uh, the back of things there. So you don't need all that fancy stuff. You can just cut this open and dump it in. Now, I did one already, that you're gonna see in a second. And it's tiny. So for this one, I'm gonna make it double size. Because it's good that way. Double the double, double, double the doubleness. I gotta make sure you get it on there. So step one, you take your microwave safe cup and you pour the ingredients in here. You gotta do a little bit of that. Oh, look at that, it's good stuff. And then, as an experiment here, which you guys will probably never see the results of because it takes too long. Let's put another one in here. This is gonna be amazing. Oh my gosh, too bad you're not gonna see this. I'll, uh, I'll let you know next week what happens here. And another thing I'm doing here, because I can never have enough chocolate in my life. I got uh, some chocolate chips here too. There you go. And now, next thing you do is you're gonna add four teaspoons of water into here. But now I got two, right? So I gotta go eight in here. And look, I got, like I did, I got a little thing of water. It's so cute. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, and extra for moistness. So now the next thing I want you to do is mix it. So you get out your mixing fork and you start mixing it. This one I'm making over here is double chocolate premium brownie mix here. Oh man, this is exciting. And I put a, this uh, clear mug here so you guys can see the uh, mix in action. And it's, it's very exciting to see like, how it gets mixed in live, live TV action right here. So, mixed it up. Now, you say, put it in the microwave. No, no, you don't put it in the microwave. It says, wait 30 seconds and then stir it again. So let's take out our watches. We'll watch for 30 seconds to go by. 30 seconds is a long time. That's 10. That's 15 seconds. That's 20 seconds, that's good enough. I'm starting a little early because I, I messed around. I probably had a extra time there. So I got this going. Did I have chocolate chips in? I didn't have chocolate chips in. Oh, I did have chocolate chips in. I suppose I had chocolate chips in before I stirred it. Hey, what are you gonna do? Here we go. So now it's really well stirred and I can take some chocolate chips and some chocolate chips in there special. Couple more. More chocolate chips. Now I'll give it a little a couple extra stirs to get those chocolate chips worked in there. Because the one rule of cooking that I always say, if it comes to chocolate, there's not too much chocolate. A friend of mine used to work at a restaurant in Minneapolis called Filios. And they had a dessert there called Death by Chocolate. And let me tell you, if you're gonna die, that's the way to do it. Death by Chocolate at Filios. I don't think Filios is open anymore. I don't know, maybe they'll chime in today and uh, let us know. Now, I take this, I'm gonna put it in the microwave for 65 seconds. I'll give it like 10 extra seconds because it's double. And look at this, TV magic, it's one and only. So I'm gonna put that in there for 70 seconds. <coughs> That's only five extra seconds, but whatever. I need a, I need a, I need a fork. Got a fork. And now, to top it off, I'm gonna put a little uh, some extra chocolate chips on there. I did the stir the chocolate chips in here already, but I'm putting extra on top because 
Remember, there's never too much chocolate in the things you're making. Now, the reason you're not gonna see what happens with this one over here, that's making all the racket right now, is because after it's done in the microwave, you have to let it sit for three minutes. That's probably to avoid situations which you've seen on my show before, where I take something, I make it and it's beautiful and tasty, but then I put it in my mouth and I burn myself. So this one has been sitting for approximately three minutes, we're gonna say. Oh, it's, look at, oh my. Look how fluffy this is. It's so light and fluffy. Oh, the cup is very hot, so I'm a little nervous what's gonna go in my mouth. Mmm, not too hot. This is a taste sensation. This is not too much chocolate at all. This is really good. This is something I could eat every day. And then if I did it every day, eventually I would fit into my chef's coat, which is really big. But for now, mm. also remember when you're driving your car and you get out, check for bikes coming by. So this doesn't happen to somebody. See you next week.